I want some of whatever Jerry Seinfeld is smoking. I saw Unfrosted, now on Netflix, so here's the good and the bad all without spoilers. With the recent onslaught of brand movies like Air and Blackberry and Flamin' Hot, I expected this to be another mostly straightforward corporate mythology, this time about the origin of the Pop-Tart. Instead, writer-director star Jerry Seinfeld has given us a wacky comedy in the style of the Zucker Brothers, Mel Brooks, and Weird Al. In fact, the recent film that this most reminded me of was Weird, the Weird Al biopic. Doing the Pop-Tarts origin story in this genre is an unexpected choice, but not an unwelcome one, because it's rare that we get movies like this. And so I'm trying to appreciate it for what it is. So has the writer of B-Movie still got it? Some of Unfrosted is very funny, in a Mad Magazine parody of Mad Men kind of way. Which is fitting because the movie both references Mad Men and Mad Magazine. The former being one of the movie's best scenes. Other parts of Unfrosted are just dumb. Dumb enough to say out loud to your TV, this is so dumb. But I think that's the point. What's not the point is the story. Because this is a joke bucket film like Airplane, where the whole mission is just to put in as many jokes and silly gags as possible. Allowing for both Seinfeldian banter about cereal, and an extended cereal-based satire of January 6th. And the movie has so so many cameos from funny people. So at the very least, you'll be surprised by who's on screen about every seven minutes. And just to shout out a couple people specifically, Bobby Moynihan's performance got me every single time, and I thought that Jim Gaffigan was perfectly cast. Unfortunately, other actors like Amy Schumer and Seinfeld himself I think were majorly miscast and left me wanting more adept actors who could have lended some authenticity. I will say it's kind of a shame that this movie is on streaming because a comedy like this in a previous era, going back to like the 90s or the 80s, could have played to huge laughs in packed theaters. Anyway, to sum things up, Unfrosted is exactly like Pop-Tarts. Juvenile, fleeting, and devoid of any nutritional value, but also colorful and delicious as an occasional snack. Perhaps best enjoyed in a not low state of mind.